Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about vitamin D. Uh, now, vitamin D you really need, in fact, if you've heard of vitamin D before, your initial maybe knee-jerk reaction is, hey, vitamin D, that's milk. Got to have it for your bones. Really important. Well, let's talk about vitamin D a little bit. Uh, vitamin D actually has a number of precursors. And actually, truth be told, vitamin D itself doesn't exist in many foods. We'll talk about why that is in a second. Uh, so calciferol, calciferol, uh, ultimately in our body, we take these compounds and break them down in the liver to calcitrol. And then calcitrol works as a kind of a hormone to, for example, have a role in calcium homeostasis, uh, phosphates as well. Uh, and as you know, those have a pretty big function role when it comes to bone. And so, not surprisingly, a big function of vitamin D is, yes, mineralization of bones. In fact, it's not the only function, but it's, it's pretty much the only one. So, when we think of vitamin D, we're thinking of basically its role in bone mineralization. Right? Now, again, don't worry about the, um, the DRI for these. In fact, the DRI is very, very, uh, fluctuates a lot depending on your age. Uh, the UL as well, probably not an issue. And again, this is also one you'll notice that the DRI is in micrograms. And you'll see this a lot, especially when we get some to uh, some of the B vitamins and some of those trace, um, the trace minerals we'll look at next week. So vitamin D. However, back in the 1900s, early, I think it was 1919 19 or so, when vitamin D was discovered, uh, it was actually discovered scientists who th actually thought it was vitamin A, but then realized it was having some different effects. Uh, for example, an effect on bone and realized, hey, this must be something different. At that point, there were, we already knew three other vitamins, so we called it vitamin D because it's the fourth letter. However, it was years later when we discovered actually milk and things like that, not the best source of vitamin D. In fact, the best source of vitamin D, the sun. Uh, in fact, for most of us, we get most of our vitamin D from sunlight. Uh, not from fish, not from yogurt, not from milk, not from ice cream, not from anything else we eat. From the sun. Uh, now, one other thing here, and this is gonna be true for a lot of vitamins, especially the B vitamins as we'll talk about, is that in the developed world, uh, the United States obviously being one of those, it's fairly common to have a lot of foods what we call fortified with vitamins and minerals. Uh, a classic example of this are cereals. Uh, if you look at the box of cereals, any kind of cereal, Cheerios, Total, Raisin Bran, Lucky Charms, whatever it is your favorite cereal is, uh, cereals um, based on USRDA recommendations are generally fortified with a lot of key vitamins and minerals. And vitamin D is one of them. In other words, in those grains, in Lucky Charms, vitamin D does not naturally exist. I mean. In Lucky Charms, I'm not sure exactly what's natural there, but definitely not vitamin D. So it is fortified and included to increase its content in those grains. Uh, so because of that, a lot of these vitamins, as we'll see, and vitamin D being one of them, having a deficiency in these in the first world, really, really uncommon. Uh, vitamin D especially. In fact, the only time we ever see this is in a deficiency is in environments that don't have much sun. Uh, so yes, potentially some parts of the world where there's a little sunlight, there are parts of the world that have that. That's times we see generally issues with this. Um, so anyway, vitamin D, going to come from the sun. However, when we talk about deficiencies, there is one deficiency I want you to know, uh, because worldwide, this is actually an issue. It's called rickets. Uh, rickets or osteomalacia. Uh, rickets is more the childhood version of it. Osteomalacia is more the adult version of it. Uh, this is basically directly as a result of in, uh, insufficient mineralization due to decreased calciferol, vitamin D, in the diet, or lack of sunlight, or both. Um, this is an issue worldwide, yes, in developed world more so, in undeveloped world more so. Um, and so this is a deficiency that we do see quite a bit today um, in the world. And so I want you to be aware of it. Ricketts osteomalacia, what they are. And again, when we talk about deficiencies and toxicities, they always follow function. And so in this case, you have a vitamin whose role is in bone mineralization. So not surprisingly, the deficiency is in lack of bone mineralization. Not a shock there. 
Um, you can read more about rickets in, in osteomalacia. Your book goes a little bit into that as well. Um, but again, just like I said for all the vitamins, make sure you know what the vitamin is, um, what foods is it found in, what's its function, and in this case, what's an issue with deficiency? Rickets, osteomalacia, what is that? Okay, so that wraps up vitamin D. Uh, vitamin E we will tackle next.